everyone. Um, my name is Camilla. Uh, I work as a software engineer for a startup based in New York City called Glam Squad. Um, and um, what it does is it's basically delivering beauty services on demand. So if you need a, um, a hairstylist, a makeup artist, or a nail stylist to come to your house, we deliver that. Um, so the, um, in this talk, I'm going to talk about a library called NWGS. And basically, it um, allows you to write native apps using Node.js. And so I'm going to go over what a native app is, why you might want to write one as opposed to a web app. Um, then talk about what exactly NWGS is and do a short live coding demo to show the capabilities. Um, so why might you choose to do native? Um, so first of all, um, when you develop um, um, a native web app is basically something that the user installs onto their computer, so you don't need a browser to run it. They just click one of the icons on the bottom of your screen and uh, your app starts running. Um, so this means that you have direct access to users' OS, and this gives you access to their files, also allows you to store um, information in their system. Um, it's also uh, native apps don't have to go through browser code, so that makes it faster, generally. Um, a lot of developers spend a lot of time worrying about browser support, um, so your web app might function dif differently on Chrome um, versus Internet Explorer, so you have to spend a lot of time debugging and figuring out ways to um, make the experience um, as good as possible across all browsers. With native apps, you don't have to do that. And WGS actually um, will um, work on all three major OS systems, and those are Windows, Linux, and Mac. Unfortunately, um, I did notice that sometimes it functions differently based on which OS system the user is using. So if you're actually trying to make an app that um, will function across all three, um, just make sure you test it and make sure everything's working across all three systems. Um, Native apps also give you greater interface controls. So with web browsers, um, a, lo a lot of the um, things that you don't think about, um, really, because you're so used to not having control over them, um, you, you now have control with, um, with native apps. So things like the address URL bar, you can hide that, or you can change um, what's up there. You can just remove all these tabs, the bookmarks bars, the menu, um, the menu bars right up top. Um, those can be changed as well. Um, also, there's no same origin policy. So with, um, when you're developing on a browser, you can only um, make AJAX requests to the same domain. Um, with Node.js, you no longer have to worry about that. Or with native apps, you no longer have to worry about that. However, there is, um, if you're depending upon user input coming back to you, there is also some security concerns about malicious attacks via that input. So um, that's a, that might be a concern. Um, and finally, remote servers aren't necessary since you do have access to the OS of the user and can store everything there. Um, the, the major downside to native apps is that the user does need to install the app on their computer, keep it on their computer, actually open it up. So for most, um, most things that people do online, um, it's probably best to stick with web apps. However, if, if it's something that only a native app can deliver that, um, for example, depends on um, having access to users' operating systems, or is something that users use every day and um, would enjoy having faster and better functionality, um, like, for example, I have a Spotify app on my computer, um, then um, building a native app is certainly something you should, you should consider. Um, so what is nw.js? Um, it was formerly known as Node WebKit. It's basically just a web runtime based on Chromium and Node.js. Um, so Chromium, um, most browsers used to um, use, um, be sourced from WebKit. Um, and then Google decided to end this monopoly and started the Chromium project. So now it powers a wide variety of browsers, the most popular of which are Chrome and Opera, and that um, Node WebKit and now NWJS um, also use. So it lets you basically create kind of a browser-like environment in your computer without actually using any browsers and lets you call node modules directly from the DOM, which you can't do with web apps. Um, and it also um, does this by combining the event processing of Node and WebKit into a single mes message loop, so it makes everything very fast and efficient. Um, I also have an article down there that if you want more info, you should definitely read. I found it very helpful in understanding what exactly goes on. Um, and I'll post these slides on the Meetup comments after. 
Um, okay, so now um, I'd like to show you a couple cool apps that were written with NWGS. So there's Popcorn Time. Um, I use it all the time. It's basically like free Netflix. So it uses um, torrents to kind of um, get the torrent file um, through your operating system and um, stream the movie on your computer for free. Um, there's also Lighttable, um, which is a really cool code editor, and it was quite popular on um, Kickstarter. Um, okay, uh, so um, now I'll just show you how to kind of get started with building a simple app and go through a couple examples of what you can do. Um, so in order to start it, the easiest way I found of creating um, an NWJS app is to simply start um, to npm init, and then the only difference here is that the entry point instead of index.js, um, you should do index.html. Um, and everything else is really the same. Um, and then after you do that, you'll have your package.json file, and then you have to npm install nw, and I also always get jQuery. <coughs> um, so that takes a while, so I actually have um, already one here that I'm going to code with. Um, so, um, so this is your package.json. Um, what you can also do um, is um, add a start command here. And um, so when you install NW, it'll give you an NW command that runs the app. And you can change, um, also have it do that on npm start. Um, so if you run it here, um, uh, OK. Sorry, um, <laughs> missing script start. I probably forgot to save it. Ah, there we go. So you have an empty application that pops up. Um, so now we're going to actually write something to it. Um, and then we go into the index.html. And here I've already kind of set up um, a basic HTML um, document. And it has um, its. It has a jQuery script in it and also has a script called main.js that is empty right now that we're going to start adding stuff to. OK, so um, we're going to start um, on once the document's loaded, we're going to start using jQuery. And um, so the cool thing about NWGS is you can put node modules right in here. So I'm going to use um, a node API library called OS that gives you access to OS um, operating system methods. Um, and then um, there's two functions I'm going to use to get the total and free memory on your computer. So total is we get by calling os.totalmem. And then free is os.freemem. All right, so now that we have those, um, we're going to take one of our devs um, in the HTML and append this information. All right, so I'm going to save that. And then now um, we should be able to see that in our app. And there we go. So this would um, be different based on every user's um, operating system. Um, also, um, the NWGS by default comes with um, Chrome DevTools as well. Um, so you just um, click on that settings bar. And right here, you have all the usual stuff. OK, so now we're, I'm going to show you how you can also um, access external APIs. So over here, I have a New York, uh, New York Times API query, and it'll just show us the top art stories. So we're going to use that. Um, so we're just going to get that, put in that URL. And then when we get the results, um, the articles are going to be stored in res.results. And then um, we're going to go through them.
and append it to our, um, our second div. So we're going to append the article title and then cl close that up and put a line break in. All right, so let's try this again. Sorry? Oh, yeah, thanks. Cool. So, um, so now it's calling the New York Times API and giving us back the top art stories of today. Um, and then we can also, um, I'll try console logging something just to see how it works with the dev tools. Now, if we do that again, um, you can see that we have that popping up in the console. Um, okay, so one last thing I'm going to show you is, as I mentioned, there's a lot of um, stuff that comes with the browser that you can remove when you're using your um, NWJS app. So um, here you can add something called a window, and then you can actually remove the toolbar. So set toolbar to false. And um, I usually don't do this when developing because it, it hides the Google DevTools um, button. But once you deploy your app, you definitely want to get rid of that. Um, and then here in index.html, um, I'm going to uncomment this code I read earlier. Um, so, um, so when you install NW, it also comes um, with this library called nw.gui. And that gives you access to um, a lot of the visual elements. Um, so um, it gives you access to the window. And so you can like minimize, open, close the window. Um, the menu um, elements. Um, so here I'm, I'm going to just show you how to create, um, change the way the window is displayed. Um, so first you create a new nw.menu object and you put in type menu bar and that just means that the menu is going to go up here at the very top of your screen. Um, and it's not going to be, say, um, one of these items. Um, so then, um, so then the, the next thing you create is actually one of these items that go up there, and that's another menu object. And then to that, um, you want to append the menu items. So when they click on it, these are all the menu items. And so we're going to append one called, um, it'll just be a label topics. And then when you click on it, we're going to attach an event handler, and it'll just give us a clicked alert. Um, and then to the window menu, you append that menu item, so it tells it to go up here. And then you actually have to get the window because there already is a built-in window here. And so you have to replace that with the menu that you just created. Um, so if we stop and then run it again, um, we see our help menus up here. And then you click on topics, and it'll um, give us an alert saying collect. Um, yeah, so that was just a couple examples to show all the cool things you can do with native apps that you can't really um, do in web apps. Um, once you're done um, making your app, you it um, you can it's like kind of complicated um, to kind of compress it and send it to your users to install on their computers. But if you go to the GitHub page of NWJS, there's a lot of generators um, that'll help you do that. Um, yeah, that's about it. Do you guys have any questions? Yeah. Can you, uh, can you uh, set it to start on, um, to build the app on the startup? Sorry? Can you set the app to, uh, to open on the startup? Like, you can start menu, uh, the auto start. Oh, auto start? Um, I'm not sure, actually, but I'm sure that's, that's probably one of the options you can build on. Yeah. Uh, how is it different from the Electron? Uh, I think it's a similar package that allows you to start from the Electron. Sorry? Uh, Adam, GitHub Adam. Both of those are the same. And then Slack. Um, oh, OK. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard of it.
All right, thank you.